Okay, so this is the gate and the garage that goes into, so the uh, driveway that goes into the garage. Um, it's quite nicely sort of easy to maintain. You've got sort of shrubs all along here and you've got a lovely little garden area with two lemon trees and fabulous, fabulous views. Okay, so you've got a lovely little bench by the side of the house there. You can walk all the way around the house. Here um, you walk in and you've got the marble floors. Uh, the ba bathroom just to the right as you walk in. And there's a shower here. And that bathroom basically serves this bedroom, which uh, is pretty much as soon as you walk in the um, in, in the house. And this is the smallest bedroom of all of them. Okay. So you've got a massive living space. Fire built in there. And this is just like dead area at the moment. So this is definitely, you know, could be used for something. You've got the bedrooms down here. Let me show you these. So there's three bedrooms that are good sized bedrooms and um, they have um, all have en suite. So um, this one's set up as a, a twin. Now, all the way through this house that gives it loads of character are these fantastic thick wooden doors on the wardrobes and actually on the, the doors of the um, of the rooms. You've got beautiful views out of here. Air conditioning. So here's the ensuite again. You've got they're almost like front doors on each one and it really does give it that character. So you've got a really large shower. Heater in here if you um, if you need it. Now this is almost a master suite size, but you could easily fit a super king size bed in here. Lots of space both sides of the bed. Gorgeous views out to the side of the house again. And oh, here are the wardrobes. So you've got these wonderful wooden wardrobes. The archway, so the wooden door into the ensuite. Okay, and then we've got the master suite. You've got these fabulous, like, it's so, so much light coming in here all the way down the corridor to the master suite where you would fit easily a super king size bed in there as well. Loads of space, both sides. They've set it up here with a, um, a lovely sort of art deco style uh, dressing table. You've got a walk-in wardrobe, sliding doors. Isn't it fabulous with this gorgeous wood and a mirror on the end. And then here is your ensuite which has actually got a bathtub in it. So it's an unusual colour um, bathroom suite, but actually it works really, really well. Again, it's done in sort of like with this, um, with this on the wall here on the, in the tiles, it almost looks quite art deco with the, with the gold um, accessories and the gold tap. It's quite cool. And this sort of art deco style mirror. It's really done nicely. And out here, Beautiful views over the mountain. It's so peaceful up here. And you're just a few minutes away from Mijas Pueblo. So let's go down the corridor to the other end of the, of the villa. And you can see um, even more living space. You've got dining area. And here we've got the kitchen. which is done sort of quite traditional country style, but there's no reason why this couldn't be modernized quite easily. But you think you'd need to be careful because it's got this, um, you know, you've got the, the wood arch there, you've got the wooden doors. Um, if you were gonna modernize it, you'd need to make sure it's sort of fitted in with that. But if you wanted to get rid of the wood, obviously you could do that, but you could potentially get rid of this um, wall here and make it slightly more open plan because the kitchen is like a triangular shape, but it's actually a really good size. So let's take a look out on the terrace and the views are spectacular. 
So you've got a built-in barbecue area, a covered terrace all along. And check this out. So you have sea views from here all the way across to here. Now it's a little bit hazy today, so you can't see clearly. Let's just zoom in on that so you can see where it's slightly blue above the telegraph line there. That's all the sea. So that's um, Fuengarola down there. Let's just show you the terrace. And then there's a really good sized swimming pool. You could actually do laps in that. That's probably a good 12 meters. And here's the utility. So you've got a fridge, washing machine, dryer. And then if you wanted to put your car in here or you could store chairs, tables and things in here as well. So yeah, wonderful, wonderful spot in the hills in um, La Alcaria, just outside. Mi has Pueblo.